All right, so I just got these uh, cheap consumables in that I just wanted to test out, really. I don't know if I'll be using them or not. I just thought I'd test them. I've got mostly hypertherm consumables. I've never used anything else. But I just wanted to test them out just for the fun of it, really. Of course, I put this post on uh, Facebook on this group, and everybody has their opinions and <laughs> oh some people get a little worked up over it. Anyway, I honestly doubt there's a hill of beans difference in them and it's not that big a deal probably, but if they don't work good I just won't use them, you know. It's not a life ending deal here. So I've just been doing some measurements just to inspect them <clears throat> the physical part of them. It's hard to see any, I don't see any difference visually looking at them. You know, I've got the 229-41, 45-amp uh, nozzles here is what I'm doing right now. These I got on eBay for, let's see, $10.99 for a package of five. I've got my receipt right here from Air Gas the other day after I asked them for a discount and pretty much made them match uh, some online prices that I had. But even then, they got charged me $6.34 plus tax each for these. So uh, those were, you know, somewhere around $35. And this was all free shipping. I got uh, some 20, 229.30s. 229.41s, and I went ahead and got some shield, uh, 228.17s. All three of those orders was free shipping, it was like $44. So, anyway, this package was $10.99 for five. So, uh, it's worth, I've asked this question before on some of these groups, and I mean, all you get is a bunch of baloney answers of everybody's opinions, but. Uh, has anybody actually tested anything to prove if they work or not? And that's a big savings. I mean, if somebody said, oh, enough savings to worry about. Well, I don't know where you're coming from. I've, I spend probably $150, $200 a month on what little bit of work I do here, just on consumables. So, uh, you know, the difference of $11 to $35 just on this one package I don't know what's the difference in that, uh, 20, <clears throat> nearly $25 or something, just on one package. So, uh, I don't know. It's not always about the money, it's just about the point of the matter of why is everybody like air gas so high on these? I bought a package of electrodes from them the other day, uh, the 22842s. I drew them down to $8.40 each on this deal, but I got some at work the other day and they charged them 11 something each. It was $55 for uh, the school and they don't pay tax. So uh, $55 for a package of these and I just bought this one for $10.99. So that's a lot of money, Jack, when you're, if you were buying lots of them, you know, you're talking about uh, 55 minus about 11 is, uh, I don't know, my math ain't good right here at the moment, but anyway, $30, I guess, maybe, 40 yeah, somewhere around $40. I don't know who thinks that's not a lot of money. It would be a lot if you were buying a package, you know, 10 of them, and then somebody said buying bulk packages of these are a lot cheaper. I looked them up the other day. You don't save but maybe a quarter a piece by buying them in the 25 packages. So it's not really a lot of savings there either. So this is not really about savings. I just think it's neat to compare things. So I'll show you what I checked. I'm not gonna go through the motions again. I'll just show you how I checked them. Uh, the cheap one here, and we're again, we're on the, 20, the 22941. This is what the package looked like from eBay's, uh, from a store there that's uh, well, I'll go ahead and tell you the name of the seller was called Minnesota Parts on eBay. And uh, of course, 
your normal five pack from Hypertherm. 220, 941s. Okay, I just took some outside measurement mostly and I took the inside of the hole. I didn't, they look identical, absolutely identical. The finish is the same, if not better, on the aftermarket. Um, I can't see any difference in the way they look. Of course, the proof will be when we cut something. I'm not going to do today, but uh, I will do probably over the weekend. So the first thing I measured was this major diameter right here, the biggest part of the ring, you know, on the top side of it, the biggest part right there I measured. On the cheap one, it was 6.627, 6 627 thousandths on the aftermarket. Oh, I've got that backwards. The hypertherm is 627 thousandths on the big part. I'm picking them up backwards as well. 622 thousandths on the aftermarket. So it's five thousandths bigger. That's the most difference I've seen between the two. That very outside area, which I don't think makes any difference anyway, is five thousandths bigger on the hypertherm. The little ring that's just below that where it kind of sits down I guess in the shield or whatever that little bitty ring that's right below that flange I went ahead and measured that on both of those the hypertherm is uh, 0.5128 520 512 thousandths and eight tenths the aftermarket was 511 and six tenths so there are only one thousandths difference there 1.2 thousandths difference on that. Just nothing really. Um, actually, I'm talking about this, this diameter right here. I'm missing that. This main diameter all the way around here, the, the OD of this is what I was just telling you. It's about 1 thousandths difference. This little part I'm calling a ring, which is just below that flange, it's just a little spot there on that was uh, the hypertherm is 527 and 8 tenths and the aftermarket is 526 and 5 tenths so on that part we're uh, about 1.3 thousandths difference the hole the in the id in here that hole right there i measured with and i didn't tell you how i measured but i measured it with the steric uh on all this other, I just measured with a steric micrometer. And this does read tenths. That's why I've got it all the way down to the tenths on those that matter. I've got this steric hole gauges. So I was, I went in here and I found the hole size. And then I mic that, of course, to measure the hole on the difference of that. Okay, on the aftermarket one, that hole is 328 thousandths and four tenths. 0.3284 on the hypertherm the hole is 3289 so there's only a half thousandth difference in the hole size almost nothing half a thousand uh, the little depth right here in the top of it right inside this you can it, it's hard to measure I didn't say I could probably set up on the mill and measure it with my DRO, but the best I could measure just by doing a depth check with the calipers. Uh, they're both about the same, 40 thousandths depth on that little spot right there, right inside the top edge of that. And then the last thing I measured, and I did that with my digital uh, calipers here, uh, the aftermarket is 764 and a half thousandths long. The hypertherm is 265 and a half, so exactly one thousandths difference in the length. And in looking inside the hole and and everything like that, and the end of it, and every bit of that looks exactly identical. The finish, everything about it, uh, looks exactly the same. As far as inspection, I'm not finding, and I even compared a few, a couple different ones of these and a couple different ones of these. They're running exactly the same. 
Uh, so, you know, that baloney, some people say, well, their quality control is not as good over. Uh, you don't know that for sure. You don't know who manufactured this. We don't know who, how great their manufacturing is here. And I doubt this is all that critical, honestly, uh, down to a gnat's ass like that. You know, we're not. Uh, one thing that Ross told me when I got this machine is throw away your machinist tools when you're dealing with uh, plasma and just use measuring tape for most stuff. You don't need to be that accurate. And I doubt this stuff is extremely accurate down to a tenth of a thousandth, you know. And the only difference really between these two on any measurements was only on this major flange right here, the outside diameter, diameter of that flange right there. And that really just holds it there. It doesn't have nothing to do with how it works or anything. So uh, I'm gonna run some parts with these aftermarket and I've been running parts on hypertherm. I'll see the difference if there is any. And I'll try to update you on that. Anyway, that's all I had for right now. Appreciate it.